now, Durango? All right, mister. I guess you win. Pretty good, Marshal. You want to try again? No. I had enough. like the people around here are sort of hard to convince. Some of them couldn't read. You shoot them all? One of those who didn't get hung. Don't give a man much choice, does it? When you shoot me when you had the chance? Hired to keep the peace, not kill people. Seems like the two of them sort of go hand in hand. Well, at least you got the satisfaction of knowing you'll get hung legal. That might be some satisfaction to you. But I can't help thinking you'll wind up dead either way. Frame Johnson's bringing in the Durango kid. Hear that, Denver? Here comes some new business. That comes under the head of old business. I've been ready and waiting for days. What about my two dollars? I ain't got time now. I'll be back. It's Frame. Frame's back and he's bringing in a Durango kid. Durango kid! Come on, you kids. Get off of there. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> Make sure he's got some money in his pocket, Denver. <laughs> hey, hiya! Are you going to bury him with his boots on? Get him before he gets cold, Denver! Where's the Durango kid? That's him. You mean to say you brought him back alive? Well, for the time being. Now, we've been friends for a long time, Frame. But since you cleaned up this town, I can't hardly make a living. I'd expect me to make any money off of him. Don't worry about it, friend. You won't have to wait long. How's the food in your jet? Well, we haven't kept anybody there long enough to die from it. Man can't complain about treatment like that. Come on. Nice-looking girl. Yeah. Yours? I like to think so. Big crowd out today. We had a better one the day the governor came through. Maybe I should have gone into politics. Why didn't Frame kill him? Seems to me you're old enough to understand your own brother. Well, maybe I ought to do it for him. Put that hog leg away or make you eat it. Let me 
any trouble with them, Frame? No more than with anybody else. Take the cuffs off of him and lock him up. Well, if it's all right with you, I'll lock him up first and then take the cuffs off. Any way you like it, Ellie. I'm going to get cleaned up. You look about two shades lighter than you did when you started washing. There is enough water in that desert to drink, let alone wash it. Where's Jimmy? He isn't in trouble, is he? Not any more than usual. He's not like you and me, Frame. He was sort of disappointed when you brought Durango in alive instead of killing him. I guess a lot of other people seem to feel the same way. Maybe it's just because he's young. Sure, give him time, he'll grow up. Have you seen Jeannie yet? Wanted to get some of the dirt off first. Well, when did you two get married? She seems to think I'd make a sort of a poor risk as a husband. Well, she could be right about that. You probably got more people gunning for you than any other man in the territory. Come in. Come in, Allie. You better get down to the jail. They're forming a lynch mob. They're coming in to get Durango. Get on down there. I'll be right along. Well, if you don't mind, I'll stay and wait and go with you. I'll walk down with you. No, if one can't handle this, two won't do any good. Oh, I sure hate to be in Durango's booth. <laughs> I thought you said I was going to get hung legal. You are? That mob don't sound legal to me. They aren't going to hang you either. Bring him up. Here, here, here they come. Maybe the best thing to do is to let them take him. I never had a prisoner lynched yet, and I don't intend to start now. Bring him here, bring him bring him him. We ain't got a chance, Mr. Johnson. Allie, why don't you slip out the back way and get the kids some meat and potatoes? He hasn't had anything to eat since sunup. Thanks. That'll be enough. Hurley, you're the mayor of this town. Tell them to go home. They won't pay any attention to me, Frame. All we want is Durango. Yeah. You're not going to get him. Who says we ain't? I do. He's my prisoner. I brought him in to get a fair trial, and he's going to get it. You wanted law and order in this town. You've got it. And you're going to keep on having it as long as I'm marshal. I give you my word. I'll shoot the first man that starts for those steps. We got your brother out here with us. What are you going to do if he starts? Yeah, what are you going to do about him? I told you. I'll shoot the first man that starts for those steps. He's bluffing, boys. Let's get him. The next one gets a load of buckshot. Any takers? Jimmy, get inside. The rest of you go on home. Have Doc Fowler take a look at that leg, Sam. Tell him to put it on my bill. your job. I'm all through. Because I was in that lynch mob? That's part of it. I've been at it too long. I'm tired of trying to give people something they don't seem to want anymore. Frame? Yeah. Would you have shot me out there? I don't know. Number 17, black and odd. Nobody on it.
your lucky night. Could be at that. Well, don't press it too far. Why not? There may be at least 20 people in the room that wouldn't mind taking a shot at you. They had a better chance a few hours ago. When are you going to give up, Frame? Or do you want to die young? Comes up 13, I'll buy a wedding ring. Not while you're still a marshal. You'll find a badge down in the mayor's office. I turned it in. I bought a ranch up in Cottonwood. I need some help with the plowing. Do you need a horse or a driver? I've got a horse. Well, number 13, the winner. I always knew you ran a crooked game in this joint. Johnson. Getting so in this town, people only die old age. I should think with Frame leaving town, business might pick up. Well, if it gets real good, maybe I'll come back if it gets real bad in Cottonwood. Always change your mind for him. No, I'll send for you when I get settled. I'll be here. riding rig I've ever been on. The customers I usually carry don't complain. What kind of a spread did you buy up there? I don't know. I've never seen it. Or a wife like that one. Didn't turn out so good. Understand this cottonwood sort of a wild town. I don't aim to live in town. Come on, try to miss some of the holes in the road. <laughs> Maybe you'd be more comfortable riding back there. That's a ride I've been dodging for the past ten years. Yes, sir. You got room for him? Well, I don't know about the stones. We got a corral out and back. Oh, well, that'll do. Give him some feed and water before you turn him loose. Yes, sir. Black Nugget in Dodge City. Ben Wiley. Sure, I remember you. Kind of a place you ran. I never figured you'd live this long. Good drinking my own whiskey. Courtesy of the house. Hey, any place we can bed down around here for the night? I got some fine beds upstairs. Number 12, the best room in the house. Deal me out. Johnson? Remember me? Kirk Darling? Sure. Seven or eight years ago, I ran you and your whole tribe out of Abilene. They left me with this, too. Next time, don't try to hide a gun up your sleeve. I won't forget it, Johnson. Maybe you'd have been happier if I'd killed you. 
Maybe someday you'll wish you had. Whenever you two have your showdown, you tell your relatives to get in touch with me. I got a card here that... I run this town, Johnson. You're not wanted here. I've been not wanted in a lot of places. That never kept me from staying. Well, that's framed, Johnson. You don't look so tough to me. That's how he looked to a lot of people. But they're not around anymore. What's he doing here? I don't know. Give me a hand. Here's the man who can help us, Dixon. Frame Johnson. Did he say this was the best room in the house? You heard him say it. Well, I hope I never have to sleep in the worst one. Who was your friend downstairs? Business acquaintance from Kansas. Now, uh, what kind of business? He dealt in cattle, other people's cattle. That gives a high margin of profit. They have to give a high rate of mortality, too. You can do better than that, Jed. You ain't even nicked him. Oh, no, mister, please. What's the matter? What are you afraid of? Afraid we can't shoot straight enough to miss you, huh? All right, Bart, that's enough. Every time you get tanked up, you pick on the poor kid. You go peddle your beer. <laughs> All right, now, you've had your fun. You leave Johnny alone. I'm tired of you breaking up my place. You get out of my way. Why? <laughs> Jed. Why don't you come up and get him? What do you want? Sit down. When you start a play, finish it. I don't want any son of mine showing yellow. He run you out, Abilene, didn't he? little town for a man of my profession of course <laughs> I saw a couple of jokers down there to make nice looking corpses well, just let me know when the mood comes over you Luke <laughs> you get me a job as marshal Denver and we'll drum up a little business shut up all of you It's Mr. Durling. There's an issue of your paper coming out today. Yes, sir. I've just finished setting the type for it. Here's an editorial. Run it on the front page. It has been called to the attention of your editor that a certain undesirable... I, uh, I can't print this, Mr. Durling. I, I'd get sued. You like running a paper in this town, don't you? Oh, yes, Mr. Durling. Print it. See the paper? No, I just got a... Right, it's got your name in it. Oh, that's right thoughtful of somebody. Well, it is, and then again it ain't. Yeah, read it. Notice to the citizens. It has been called to the attention of your editor that a certain undesirable character has come to Cottonwood. 
He is Frame Johnson, notorious peace officer. Under the protecting guise of the law, this man has murdered over 40 men in cold blood. Aren't you going to finish it? I've sort of got the general idea already. I didn't know that you'd kill 40 of them. Neither did I. Mind if I keep this? I'm all through with it. That's him. Well, has anybody talked to him yet? He just got in town last night. Dixon and I thought Judge Williams was the one to talk to him. Yeah. Well, this is a real pleasure, Mr. Johnson. Come in. Have a chair. We've been expecting you for some time. Here's the deed to your property, if you'd care to take a look at it. Oh, looks all right to me. You got a fine piece of property, Mr. Johnson. Good grazing lands, got a good house on it. When do you want to take possession? As soon as I can find out where it is. <laughs> I reckon that is kind of important, isn't it? Now, you're here in the northwest sector, close to town, right next to the Durlings. Did you say the Durlings? Yes, sir, and he's a mighty important man in this community. Oh, nothing like having important neighbors. That's what I always say. I'd be glad to introduce you to Mr. Durling any time. Thanks, we've already met. Oh, well, that makes it nice. Now, you take the main road west out of town. I killed him. I didn't know what else to do. I've been hiding all night. Get him inside, Jimmy. It's none of our business, you know. We want Johnny. He killed Bart. He murdered him. Bring him up. Now, wait a minute. You ain't stopping us, mister. We're gonna take him. The boy's entitled to a trial. Get out of the way, Johnson. I want Johnny Benton. Haven't you got any law in this town? I don't need any law. It was my boy that was killed. He was the one who was bothering the kid last night. He deserved to be killed. Come on. Don't come closer, anybody. It's all the trouble. What's going on here? Oh, howdy, Kurt. What's all the ruckus? Johnny Benton killed Bart. Johnson's holding him in there. All right, boys, I'll take over. You got any reason for protecting him, mister? I'm not protecting him. I'm holding him for the law. Uh, well, you can let him go, then. I'm Finn Elder, sheriff. Bring him out, Jimmy. You were a little late getting him, weren't you, Finn? I can't be everywhere at once. What are you going to do with him? Throw him in jail. Isn't that sort of inviting a lynching? Why don't you take him over to Elderville? Wouldn't he be safe there? That sounds like a good suggestion, Sheriff. Well, it's all right with me, but it seems like a lot of trouble to go to. Well, you ain't gonna let him take me, are you, mister? Nothing I can do, Johnny. Mr. Johnson, I'm Judge Williams. I'd like to talk to you. Well, what about? I think that's something we should discuss in private. Let's go inside. Get the horses, Jimmy. Here's the situation, Mr. Johnson. This town is a sinkhole of violence and evil. The Durling has controlled it completely. They elected female as sheriff. They selected juries in my court. Why, it's reached such a state now that a decent, honest citizen doesn't dare open his mouth. I've already seen it. Is Durling on the newspaper, too? No, but what he can't buy, he gets through intimidation. This is a perfect example of what we're up against. Well, things are that bad. Why don't you form a vigilance committee? Uh, except for a few of us, we aren't sure whom we can trust. There's another drawback. If we group as an organization, the result would be open warfare. Many innocent people might suffer. Looks like they're already suffering. We want a man who is big enough to oppose their organization. We've decided you're that man. I'm sorry, Judge. I've got other plans. Uh, but we're prepared to pay any price you ask. Money isn't important. Aren't people's lives important? Mine's important to me. That's why I'm turning down your offer. M Mr. Johnson! Don't waste your time, Judge. He's not going to change his mind.
like it needs a little fixing, don't it? You're pretty handy with tools, aren't you, Denver? Well, I hate to brag, but I probably build the best pine box west of the Mississippi. Ever tried your hand at building a house? Not that I can recall. You're due for a new experience. Now look here, Frank. The barn and the corral seem to be in pretty good shape. I hadn't counted on living in the barn. Let's get back to town. We can't do anything here till we get something to work with. Johnny Benton, cut him down. Looks like you got some business, Denver. That's the kind of business I ain't looking for. I'd enjoy working on that sheriff real good, though. Here's your prisoner. He escaped from me. I was just going to round up a posse to go after him. Now, if he starts to run this time, maybe you ought to shoot him. It'll look better. Uh, where'd you find him? Right where you left him. What happened to him? Oh, he got away from me on the way to Elderville. Johnson here found him hanging in an oak tree. I didn't say anything about an oak tree, Sheriff. I just said I found him where you left him. I'm going over to the land office. You two give Denver a hand with the supplies. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you can see for yourself what it's like in this town. This sort of thing takes place entirely too often. I'm still not interested. But he was just a boy, a poor harmless boy. If this sort of thing isn't stopped, nobody will be safe. He killed a man, didn't he? He was at least entitled to a trial. Why don't you speak plain to him, Judge? Everybody knows who killed Johnny. Well, if you know who did it, why don't you have him arrested? You've got a sheriff. We need somebody here with the authority to arrest the sheriff. When I heard you were coming here, Mr. Johnson, I felt sure you would be an asset to the community. It seems I was mistaken. I may not be an asset to the community, but I figure I'll live longer this way. Then we can only conclude that you're afraid to take the job. You conclude anything you want. <laughs> Too bad, Judge. Next time, pick a candidate with a little guts. Jimmy, take it easy. We don't want any trouble. You got trouble already. Keep that wet nosed kid out of town or he'll wind up like Johnny Fenton did. You still want a marshal in this town? Yes. You've got one. Where do I go to get sworn in? Fetch me the office. What happened to Loot and Jimmy? They rode to the Marshall's office. I thought this town didn't have a marshal. They have now. Luke just took the job. If you want me to wait here, go on ahead. Well, I guess one Johnson's as good as another. Congratulations. I'll do my best. Maybe we'll get this town fit to live in yet. You can depend on us backing you all the way. I'm going to need it. Oh, excuse me. Why'd you do it, Luke? I got sort of annoyed with the sheriff. Not on account of me? Oh, it's a private matter. Our personalities just seem to clash. Congratulations, Marshal. Take care of yourself. Don't worry. I learned from an expert. Well, Jim, it looks like we lost a good ranch hand. Come on, we got a lot of work to do. All right, Denver. Coming, Jimmy? Congratulations, Marshal. Drinks on the house. Thanks. 
Maybe someday you'll learn to keep that big mouth of yours shut. Now we've got a marshal to put up with. What are you worried about? I'll take care of him. Congratulations. If we can ever do anything to help you, Marshal, be sure and let us know. Yeah, you can call on us any time. Real thoughtful characters, aren't they? Yeah, if you like that sort of thinking, have another drink. No. Don't let them get under your hide, loot. That's what they want you to do. Maybe I'll have that other drink after all. Sure. Denver! Hey! Them look pretty good! Got them for a good price, too. All right, Clem, run him in. You got the start of a good herd there. Wait till you see him a year from now. How's the house coming? You're making an awful mistake, Frame. Fixing up this place the good. Why? Jeannie ain't gonna have nothing to complain about. I'm wondering if she's gonna like living on a ranch. Oh, I reckon she'd like it any place. <laughs> Long as you was around. Where's Jimmy? Went out riding fence like you told him. Johnson, who are you? I live near here. Well, you got a name, haven't you? Well, what is it? Maria! Get back to the house! Stay on your own side of the fence, Johnson. And keep away from my sister. last night looking for you. Samuels? Yeah, he's got a little spread just south of here. Rustlers came last night, drove off most of his herd. That's so. Well, Marshal, so you got the mules back. Why'd you tell me these mules were stolen? Well, I'll tell you. I went down to the barn one morning and they wasn't there. So I just figured somebody had stolen them. <laughs> Lopez says you loaned them to him. My golly, Marshal, it did. I plumb forgot about it. Hey, that's a good joke on me, ain't it? <laughs> Where's the marshal? Right here. What do you want? Russell from Black Mesa Canyon. It looks like they're running off the Davis herd. Hey, might be another wild mule chase, Marshal. You know, won't that ride for nothing. Don't press your luck too far, darling. I don't like to get shoved around. I don't know what you're talking about, Marshal. Keep pushing me. Maybe you'll find out. Hey, you want us to ride with you? They might need some help. <laughs> Well, I guess that'll take care of him for the rest of the day. Better start that herd moving north. <laughs> See, Loot? Yeah, I saw him. Well, how was he? They're giving him a bad time. That Durling outfit's ganging up on him. Ah, Lou will handle it all right. Well, I figured maybe you'd want to help him. 
After all, he is your brother. I didn't ask you to take the job. You know what they're saying about you in town? Yeah, and I'm afraid. Gunshot. Well, what are you going to do about it? Live to be an old man, I hope. He just isn't man enough for it. That's the size of it. Maybe so. We didn't ask him to take the job. It was his own idea. Oh, Luke. We were just having a little discussion about you. I heard it. No luck this time either. There hasn't been a cow stolen in Black Mesa in over a year. Well, who was robbed this time while I was gone? McKesson. Lost about a hundred head. That's the third herd that's been run off this week. I can only be one place at a time. You're beginning to sound like our sheriff. Listen, mister, when I took this job, I wasn't told I had to take any talk from you. That's enough, Dixon. Let's not fight among ourselves. We all know how the Dellings operate. Confuse you, run your ragged, send you off in every direction. While you're chasing rainbows, they're rustling cattle. I've worn out six horses in three days, and I wasn't riding for my health. Here's your badge. You can have your money back if you want it. Uh, Mr. Jock, I want to apologize for this, uh, Dixon. We appreciate all you've tried to accomplish, and I want to assure you that this meeting was not called to ask for your resignation. Well, what do you want, then? We want you to persuade your brother to help you. Well, you've already talked to him, Judge. That's why I'm asking you to do it this time. If you can only convince him of the good he could accomplish. Uh, I don't think it'll help any, but I'll try. I'm sorry you're in trouble, Luke. It's your play, and I don't want it on. Well, I thought between the two of us, we can clean it up in a couple of weeks. Clean it up in one day. All you have to do is kill five or six people. Just let me know when the shooting starts. I'll help you, Luke. Oh, thanks, kid, but I don't think they deputize you. Well, what difference does that make? I can still play dog for you. No, Jimmy. Just because you quit on him, there's no reason I have to. Now, shut up. Frame knows what he's doing. Yeah, he always knows. I guess what they're saying about him in town is true. He's gun-shy. Why, you impudent young whippersnapper. Let go, Denver. Kid just doesn't understand. Sorry, I didn't know this was going to happen. I'd be sorry about it. Take care of him, will you? Sure. He'll be all right. You want to go back, Jimmy? No, I'll see you in town in about an hour. Stay out of trouble, kid. You're beginning to sound like Frame. aren't they? Yes. Well, I'll be back. You shouldn't. I will.
fun, is there? Uh, looks to me like you're overdoing it. Uh, now, would you rather soap her up in Homer in jail? What are you going to throw me in for? For uh, uh, creating a disturbance. Uh, who am I disturbing? Me. I've got a room upstairs. And I don't like loud noises. Uh, now, do I get the gun or do I have to take it away from you? <laughs> you got to take it away from me. Well, that's all right, too. <laughs> Give him back to him when he sobers up. What you doing, Marshal? Making your own laws? Any objections? Yeah. Well, you know where to find me when you want to make them. Hey! I'm making them right now. Anytime you say, Frank. We'd better get him upstairs. I'll take him. You get a doctor. Get Doc Holly. I'm going to get framed. You know what you've done, don't you? Flushed out frame Johnson. The other one that kicked the chair over. Think I want to see you get killed, too? Deal. It's Luke Frame. Frank Darling shot him. He's at my place. Is he hurt bad? I'm afraid so. Get the horses, Denver. Fair and square. Ask any man in here. They all saw it. How was he, Doc? I'm sorry, Frank. I guess I just wasn't as good as you. Crazy loot. You're the best. Loot. Frank, do something. Nothing to do, Jimmy.
Doesn't look like we got much to worry about from the Johnsons. Easy, kid. What are you going to do? What Frame should have done. Jimmy's out to get Frank Durley. Crazy kid. Put it on my bill. Jimmy. What do you want? Let Frame take care of it. He knows what he's doing. Sure he knows. He always knows. Well, you stay out of this, because this is a family affair. Well, right now, I feel like family. They murdered him, no matter what they call it. Yeah, perhaps we're at fault, too. Thinking that one man could stand up alone against a band of thieves and murderers. Here's Lute's badge. Have you got somebody for the job? After this, I doubt if we can get anybody to take it. I'll take it. Providing I can do it my way. Anything you say, Mr. Johnson. I want an ordinance passed. An ordinance? I want an ordinance making it illegal to carry firearms inside the town limits of Cottonwood. No guns? Why would be the laughing stock of the West? Those are my terms. Take it or leave it. But how's a man going to protect himself or his family? That's up to the law. And you think you can handle it alone? I think you can. If that's what you want, I'll go along with you. We've got a quorum here. How about it? Well, it's worth a try. All right. But I hope we aren't making a mistake. We'll pass your no-gun ordinance. It may cause a lot of trouble. I'll take care of the trouble. But he'll have a gun, won't he? Of course. How else is he going to enforce the peace? That isn't what bothers me. I just hope we haven't legalized the murder. <laughs> Cards are coming. Gentleman wins and the gambler loses. Place your bets, boys. What's the limit? Anything you happen to be carrying around. Now, well, that could be a real interesting game. You'd probably be disappointed. Place your bet, mister. Hit me. I'll stand. I'll take a hit. That you was located up Cottonwood Way. I was, but the whole town blew up. Somebody killed a marshal named Johnson. Hit me. I said hit me, miss. It's good. I'll take a card. That's enough. King and queen, 20, paying 21. Enough for me. Louis, let go. Buy you a drink, ma'am? Thanks, but I make it a rule never to drink at my own bar. Your health. You wouldn't happen to know that marshal's first name, would you? The one who got killed? Well, yeah, it was Luther. His brother Frame took over the badge, says he's going to clean up the whole town. Thanks. Give this gentleman a drink on the house. Mr. Sterling. Do you still want to buy the place? At my price? At your price. It's a deal. I'll meet you at the bank in the morning. Oh, Jeannie, I'm glad you're selling. Your father wouldn't have liked to see you running a saloon. It's the only thing he left me. I can't teach school. I can't sew. A girl has to make a living some way. Town Council has met in solemn body and decreed that starting at noon this date, April the 23rd, 1882, carrying a gun in the township of Cottonwood will be a misdemeanor, punishable by a fine or jail sentence or both. Signed, Judge William. <laughs> well, that's real sporting of Mr. Johnson, ain't it? First thing you know, we'll have to shave every day. <laughs> you won't get away with it. Nobody's gonna take my gun. What's Johnson trying to do, run this town? Yeah. Looks like your sign's not very popular. No guns, huh, Marshal? Well, in that case, I guess I'll just have to get rid of my bullets. You're under arrest. Me? What for? Breaking the law. Your law don't go into effect until noon. It says so right there. Well, I'm arresting him anyway. <laughs> 
All right, Durling, let's go. Somebody get Kurt. Can't hold me. You're just wasting your time. I got lots of time. What's the charge? What was he doing? Defacing public property. Since when is there a law against that? Since the inception of the town charter, local ordinance 27, which our sheriff has seen fit to ignore. You're getting awful law-minded all of a sudden, aren't you, Judge? I've always been conscious of the law, Mr. Elder. It so happens that at long last we've found someone who is willing to enforce it. That's what I'm talking about. I don't like having someone appointed over me to interfere in my jurisdiction. As chairman of the Cottonwood Town Council, I have the right to appoint a marshal. If you don't like that law, call the council together and have it changed. In the meantime, I find you guilty of violating Ordinance 27, and I fine you $50 or 10 days in jail. I will pay it. Be reasonable, Judge. You know no one pays any attention to that old ordinance. This time you got a choice. Pay the fine or go to jail. I have got it in for Shut up. The law is a law. If you break it, you pay the penalty. Go on. Should we cool off yet? He's a man who wouldn't eat any of his food. Good, too. You changed your mind, kid? You know of any reason why I should? He was my brother, too. Gunning for Frank Durling isn't going to help matters. Well, that's not the way I see it. And if you let me out of this crumb box, That's I'll... just why you're in there. And that's just why you're going to stay there until you get some sense through your head. Craziest darn fool thing I ever heard of. Charlie Walsh. This the place that takes the guns? That's right, miss. Right over there. You know, this ain't a bad law at that. What's the matter with you? I never knew she carried a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss, uh, Miss... Corey, sir. What's the matter, honey? Got a short memory? <laughs> and I'll be seeing you, too, Judge. <laughs> they throw those guns in. We're only waiting for the stage, Marshal. You can get them back when the stage leaves. They'll take them right in there. But we're leaving town in a little while. No, that's all right. How about you? Uh, search is my line, mister. I don't even know how to shoot a gun. Be gone as soon as the stage comes in. A plane to upon these. He was too drunk to know. <laughs> Anybody cause any trouble? No, but it looks like we're going to have to hire somebody for this job. We've been swamped all morning. Well, I'll give you a hand. I'm trying to keep them filed alphabetically. It'll simplify things when we go to give them back. What name do I put on it? Martin Kohler. Martin Kohler, Colt 45. All right, what name on this one? Oh, just Jeannie. Jeannie. Hello, Frank. What are you doing here? I got tired of waiting. Let's get out of here. I'll be back. Nice place, isn't it? How did you wind up in a flea bag like this? Oh, I had a choice. I could either stay here or at the livery stable. Well, I'm going to take you out to the ranch. It isn't fixed up quite the way I wanted it, but it's a big improvement on this. You might at least kiss me first. I might at that. Jeannie, I have to tell you something. I heard about loot, if that's what you mean. I took over his job as marshal. Why do you think I came up here? Well, but you said once. I know. I said I wouldn't marry you because every time you went out into the street, I'd be afraid you'd never come back. 
The odds haven't improved any. The odds never will. You're big and you're ugly and you're stupid, and I happen to be in love with you. So, if you insist on being a walking target for every gunman in Arizona, I guess I'll have to put up with it. Took you a while to find that out. I've known it for a long time. But I kept hoping it was something like measles, and maybe I'd get over it. You're going to make a beautiful bride. Hey, Denver. Denver! You want something, Jimmy? Yeah, I want to get out of here. You know what Frame said? He said he'd turn me loose if I promised not to go gunning for Frank Darling. I ain't heard you say anything yet. Well, I'm promising right now. I don't know, Jimmy. Frame's going on out to the ranch. Look, how can I go gunning for anybody? I haven't even got a gun. By golly, you're right. All right, Jimmy. Now, if I was you, I'd head right on out to the ranch. That's just what I figured on doing. You made me a promise, Jimmy. And I'll keep it. I'm not going looking for Frank Derling, but I got a call to make, and I need a gun just in case anything happens. All right, you get on back in the cell. See you, Denver. I think you were coming back. I didn't have a chance. There was some trouble in town. I know. I heard them talk about it. Frank killed my brother, Lute. You have to leave, Jimmy. They'll kill you, too. Well, that's the reason I came out here. You're going with me. You want me to come with you? We can find a preacher in the next town. I wouldn't care, Jimmy. Get your stuff together. Let's get out of here. It won't take me long. That's young Johnson's horse. Looks like he moved in on your sister. Young squirt. Johnson! I told you to keep away from her. I asked him to come. Shut up. <laughs> drop your guns. I said drop them. Get to the horses. Go ahead, I'll catch up with you. And right, now back up to that wall. I'm going to let the law work for me. Do you think it would help if I talked to Jimmy? I don't know. He's got a right to feel the way he does. I wouldn't help Loot when he asked me to. If you want to blame somebody, blame me. I'm the one that made you quit. No. I quit because I wanted to. Because I was tired of being a hired killer. My only mistake was in thinking I could run away from a reputation. Maybe you didn't run far enough. Maybe I didn't. I'm going into town. I'll send Denver back to stay with you. I'm not afraid to stay alone. I've been alone most of my life. You won't be much longer. I don't mind waiting for him. Just hurry back, huh? I 
came to tell you, Frame. I just killed Frank Durling. You young fool. It wasn't his fault. Frank was going to kill him. I saw it. Who's she? Maria Durling. Durling? I just wanted you to know I didn't go gunning for him deliberately. Come on, Maria. Where are you going? We're headed for the border. No, you don't. You're going to stay here and stand trial. <laughs> what chance have I got to get in a fair trial in this town? I'll see that you get it. You keep your law and order, Frame. I'll take my chances in Mexico. Don't start running, kid. I'll just have to come after you. Well, in that case, maybe I'd better give myself a head start. I'm taking him into town. You two better come along. It might not be safe out here. I've got a warrant for the arrest of James Johnson for the murder of Frank Durley. Who says it was murder? He killed him in cold blood. Never gave him a chance to draw. We all saw it. That's a lie. Frank would have killed him. I was there. Were you, Maria? There are three of us who say you weren't. Don't let them take it. Who are you going to believe, Marshal? A girl that's in love with a killer or three eyewitnesses? I'll take the prisoner. So we can find him hanging from a tree? He's got to be held for trial. When's the trial? First thing in the morning, and it'll be a quick one. I'll have the prisoner there. Oh, no, you don't. You'll turn him over to me right now. Finn! Let him keep him. I knew you hated Frank, Maria, but I didn't think you'd lie to save his killer. You don't think he'll bring the kid up for trial, do you? Probably would, but I don't want him to. You got the keys to the jail, Finn? Sure, why? Jed, tonight you go over and let the kid out. What are you talking about? The judge thinks Johnson turned his brother loose. He won't be marshal much longer. your brother certainly convinced the people that you mean business about law and order. It's a great day for Cottonwood. I uh, take it that ordinance of yours uh, doesn't include me. After all, I am an officer of the law. That's a matter of opinion. It's almost time for the trial. I suppose the prisoner's here. He'll be here. Get him, Finn. We can't stand around here all day. I said he'd be here. He's your brother. For all we know, you could have turned him loose last night. Go get him, Finn. I wouldn't go if I were you, Sheriff. He might try to escape, and then you'd have to shoot him. Fred! Where's Jimmy? I don't know. Somebody came into jail last night, slugged me over the head, and he let him out. Did you hear that? The Johnson kids escaped. That's convenient, Johnson. All right, round up a posse. We'll get our guns back and go get him. Don't go any further, Kurt. Denver, I'm deputizing you to keep peace while I'm away. Shoot the first man that goes through that door. You're going to defend your brother all the way. 
I said I was responsible for the prisoner. I'm bringing him in. You expect us to believe that? You see what he did? Fixed it so his brother could escape after he took our guns away so we couldn't do anything about it. You've still got your gun, Sheriff. Why don't you do something about it? I've got no personal quarrel with you, Johnson. I have. You've been riding pretty high, Marshal. It's about time somebody cut you down to size. I'm kind of looking forward to it, Kurt. Let's both of us stay out of this. Jimmy, now. What are you trying to prove, Frame? Darling's dead. There's nothing to be gained. I what? said get my horse. Let him go. We know he's innocent. Let him go his own way in peace. I said I'd bring him in for trial. Oh, please, Frame. Must you always think like a marshal? Can't you think like a human being just as once? I'm going along. Why? It's the way he is. You can't ask a man to change. It is finished, senor. Well, it took you long enough. I am not a good blacksmith. The shoe had to be forged. Well, I'll take a bottle of this stuff with me. Si, senor. But, but, senor, you, you forgot to pay, senor! Get your guns and go after him. The sheriff's right. What are we waiting for? Nobody gets their guns till Frame gets back. He's not coming back. Why should he? We want our guns, Judge. Give us our guns. Just a minute, men. Don't you see what the sheriff's trying to do? He's afraid Johnson will come back. That's what he's trying to prevent. That's not true. I'm just trying to do my duty as a law officer. Don't listen to Elder. Now that Darling's dead, he wants a town for himself. 
give Johnson a chance. What do you say, miss? Is your man coming back or ain't he? He'll be back. I say give Johnson a chance. Give him until sundown tomorrow. Si, senor, there was such a man here. Two, three hours he stayed. His horse lost the shoe, I had to make a new one. He bought also a bottle of tequila, which he forgot to pay for. Gracias, senor. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Make me do it, Frame. It's no life, Jimmy. Running all the time, hiding. You got to stand up and face it if there's ever going to be anything ahead for you. Don't come any closer, Frame, or I'll shoot. I'm not drawing, Jimmy. I'll never pull a gun on you. I mean it, Frame. I'll kill you. <laughs> Frame! 
afraid I didn't mean it. <laughs> You're a prisoner, Judge. Call off the dog. Oh, I'll get Doc Harley. He's lost a lot of blood, but it ain't going to kill him. I'm still not riding him back. You think any jury will convict him now? I'm not sticking around to find out. I'm heading for California. It's a long ride to make alone. You got company. It's all right, Jeannie. Everything's all right now. I'm taking it off for good this time. We got a lot of ranching to do. Doesn't look like he's going to be much help to us. Denver, we could use a good ranch hand. Sorry. Ranching's not my line. Besides, I figure business ought to be picking up back in tombstone long about now. Hiya! Hey, 